Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last videos, we created three families for the door structure, one for the screen, one for the panel. Now I want to show you how we can put them together to assemble the door as one family. Importing one family to another family is called nested families. Uh, I want to make a save as this, from this file. And I'm going to name it door structure. And the first one is going to be 5 feet, so it's going to be sliding door or door uh, 5 feet. Uh, one back up is good, that's all good. So first I want to import the door screen, load into project, into the door 5 feet family. I'm going to put it somewhere around here and then we'll adjust it. So let's go to the reference level. This is the door panel that has to be on the first railing here. How about I draw a, a very small line here under annotate, symbolic line. I want to draw a line. Then I want to draw a reference plane, RP, from the center of this line. I can get rid of this small line and I want to align this. Let me move it over there. Uh, I want to align this so use AL with the center line of this railing. I can lock it. That looks good. So this is the screen. Uh, next I want to maybe close the screen. We don't need it anymore. And now we can load the door panel into the project. We can also close it, so load into project and close. So we have two panels here, one of them will be around here. How about I move it up and make sure to align it. I want to use AL, select this reference plane and select this and lock this and this one will go all the way through because this is a fixed panel so I can use ALL again to fix it here. I can also lock it and I can go to create component the panel is still here and I can put one more panel here on the third line and I want to make sure that it's exactly on the middle of the rail here. So again I can draw a small line. RP, this reference line shows the center line of this third rail here and this can be aligned to the center line. So if you go to 3D if I change this to shaded, you see we have three panels. One is fixed, uh, one is the screen. Of course, you can see the screen in realistic mode here. And one is the movable panel on the front. Right. So why did we do this as three different families? Because uh, this is the five foot door. If I want to create six, seven, eight or any other door right now, uh, it's going to be much faster now that we are using actually families. Right. So uh, let's see what parameters we have here uh, in this file. We have only parameters for height and width. So the parameters which are designed for uh, the families that we loaded into this one are not necessarily shown here, right? Uh, now, if I want to create the six-foot door, I open the three files again. I'm going to make a save as here. This is going to be a six-feet door. Okay, so now we can assign the correct width and height here for the six feet door is 71 and a half. So I can change the width to 71 and a half. Uh, it's actually the same height. Uh, so this looks good. Apply 
and OK. Then in the door panel family, I need to adjust the height and width for the panel. Uh, the height is the same, right? But the width is 36 and 316. So for the width, it's actually 36, but the height is the same. And for the screen here, the height is the same, but it's 36 here. So I need to change this to 36 and 3 quarters. Okay, now we can load these two uh, into the assembly file and create the 6 foot door and we can continue to do the rest for 7 feet and 8 feet uh, doors. So using nested families uh, will allow you to create similar objects much faster.